when I talked to Muddy Waters, Howlin' Wolf as a boy, and many other guys older than I, most of the time, they were talking about how much whiskey they could drink, how many days they stayed up, how many ladies they had. All that's important, but it wasn't important to me. Yeah, I tried to, I tried to abduct the thing that probably would embarrass my family. But it's hard to do that. It's hard to tell the truth. It's hard to tell the truth. I was writing this song that's going to be on my next record. And I was trying to find a way to tell this story about myself, what other people relate to me, and this woman I have. I'm in love with the woman, and she won't be true. She goes out in the morning, don't come back home till late at night. And I goes to my pastor to ask him for my advice because I trust him. I said, now, pastor, she won't do right. I goes on to tell him about personal things because this is my pastor. He said, well, son, let me tell you this. And what I got to tell you, now be prepared. You won't like this. He said, but you got to go down on him. Now, coming from my pastor, he said, go down on him and see what good that'll do. He said, now, I would do it for you, but that wouldn't be too cool. <laughs> now, listen. <that's a laughs> I got caught up in a situation. I don't know what happened to me. I said, I'm a blessed man. Somebody prayed for me. I don't know why I don't drink, I don't smoke, I don't get high. I don't know why. It was all around me. Yeah, I went in the room where guy had cocaine packed stacked up. It's a blood, come on, it's free. Not for me. I don't know what happened. Cause they think the grass is greener on the other side of the thing. They think what they've been looking for is over there. And what a man look for is on his nose all the time. It ain't never over there. It's always that here. This is uh, for my friends to come in and sup with me. Now, the Bible talk about supping. He talk about sop. Supping to mean afternoon, but you can sop anytime. Sop mean come eat with me. And you're welcome. Before we eat, would you say grace? Yes. Father, thank you for the food that we're about to receive and this for body by Christ's sake. Surely goodness is brought for all the days of our life. We dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Thank you for the food. Thank you for my friends. Eat and be merry. Amen.